Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today on the bench we have a Ham International Multimode 3 that's been sent in for repair. No doubt it's going to be full of the joys of rotted capacitors. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon, and have a look at my website, microchips.net. And now a word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen-based PCB manufacturer and printed board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide range of services including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and much more. PCBWay also offer a prototype PCB assembly service with component sourcing and online quote with 24-hour delivery services. PCBWay is committed to meeting all of your PCB needs. They offer quality, on-time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards start at $5 with 24 hour turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below to check them out. So let's have a look inside this Multimode 3. See what joys we can find inside it. So having a look at the PCB side and yes I can see bad things happening already well let's have a look at the other side so let's have a look at the component side and everything looks okay in there as you would expect but no doubt it's going to be hiding surprises for us so back onto the, the solder side and yes, there's rot. And it's bad. It's really bad this time. It's there and it's come through the board and eaten it away. Okay, it's nothing we can't fix. But yeah, this one's particularly rotten. And as you can see by the leg of that capacitor, yeah, we're rotted. Usual top, uh, tracks on the top have rotted as well. Oh, lovely. No doubt that 1,000 mic has released all its juices as well. There'll be another 100 mic buried down there as well. So, oh, what fun. And looking back on the solder side, as we're starting to take components out, there is a leg that's completely gone through and rotted there. So I think the best thing for this to do is to strip all the caps out from the audio section and assess the damage. So you can see we have a rotten track under there, but we can remake these. And there's our other capacitor, and that one is particularly crusty. Yeah, very nice. Just the type of thing I'm expecting from these boards these days. But yeah, absolutely rotten. And there's another one, another one that's rotted. So I think this is possibly one of the worst ones I've seen. So we took out all the parts around the audio amp, all the capacitors, and we got a trace that's been rotted away. Over there, we've got a trace at the bottom that's okay but it's not healthy and we've got the trace on the top so I'm just going to put a little bit of vinegar on it just to neutralize it I think the trace is probably already gone but we'll we'll stop the rot even further because we'll link it out from the bottom so I'm just using a cotton bud and a bit of vinegar I'm just going to go over it stop any further any rot. I'm surprised the trace under the thousand mic hasn't gone as well. But I think all the, the damage has been done on the underside of the board on this one. So as you can see that's all our parts out. Even took a transistor out as well so we can get a clearer look at the the trace. Now here's that area. It was rotten. I'm having trouble cleaning this off because it's so badly corroded. But we should be able to fix it. So there it is fixed. Let's make sure there's no bridges or anything. But yeah, that's fine. That'll do. 
so there's our audio stage rebuilt with all its capacitors in looking very nice and the capacitor near the AVR I suspect this one's been changed yeah I think this one's already been changed but we'll change it again anyway and surprisingly the trace hasn't rotted well it's not bad anyway I think all the damage this time was around the audio amplifier but we're going to put a new capacitor in that anyway because you know that's the thing we do so there's our new cap in place looking very nice just needs to be soldered in and you can see it has rotted in the past because the trace has gone and somebody's folded it somebody had folded it over originally so it had rotted but they hadn't attended to the other rotted ones so i'm just having a look at the crystals and um some of the crystals are a little bit low can't seem to get it on frequency now I'm using this crystal tester and it, it doesn't load the crystals up like it would in a radio I was going to do a video on this crystal tester but it doesn't load them correctly and if it doesn't load them correctly you don't get a true um, reading even though these crystals are showing good they're actually a mile out when you put them in the radio and load them up So let's do some alignment. So we're on the minus 80. Now these controls are very, very twitchy. So even just the slightest little movement. I don't know why they made them so twitchy like this, but it is what it is. We can get it roughly right like that. I think that's close enough. No, there is a tolerance in the service manual, so I think we're well within tolerance. So there's minus 80. Um, now we're on minus 40. Don't forget the channels are always back to front on these things due to that um, HC806 unit. Don't know why they decided to do that. Some revolutionary thing that didn't follow any standards just made it more confusing so that's our mid band so we're gonna get that as close as we can again it's very twitchy even using the ceramic driver it does make a difference when you go near it it must just be stray capacitance from my hand being close to it so there's high band we'll get that as close as we can okay very nice that'll do just nicely until I move it again and it goes a mile off and there's our plus 80 Again, this was a mile off due to the crystals. So once we'd refresh the crystals, everything was good. So we will let this radio warm up a little bit and go back over it again. Because they do move just a little bit over time. It should be close as, should be good enough. Me just trying to get it onto the zero, but sometimes it's just impossible. You can see, even though we've been over it, we've altered the other ones and that's taken the, the, um, the ones below it out. So you just have to keep going over them until they're all roughly into place. Still trying to get it onto the zero, but you know sometimes it's impossible I'm back onto minus 80 and you can see even minus 80 is now moved away so the best thing for these is just to keep going over it until you've got it 
a happy medium between everything. Which can be a little bit tedious, but we get there in the end. Now to do the 692 and 695, and again, one of these controls is really, really twitchy. So we just want it 10, 6, 9, 5, roundabout. You see it's a real pain to get it aligned. I think that'll do. We'll just get it onto the zero. Yeah. And put it onto LSB for 10, 6, 9, 2. I think this is CT4 and CT5 we're adjusting. I think the 10692 maybe is the harder one to adjust for some reason. As you can see, it's all over the place, but we get there in the end. Let's have a look at the RX test. So we're putting 70 um, minus 70 db in and everything's good moving it down to 100 and 120 and yep sensitivity is good have a look on the cyanide meter and listen to it against um real world and you can hear the tone at minus 115, 120, you know this has got good ears, so yeah, all good. Let's have a look at the scope. So there's our two-tone waveform. Everything's looking good there, no problem at all. No problem at all with that. There's our crystals that we put in it before. A new set that are available. So we're just having a look at the cyanide readings. For all you cyanide lovers out there. So it's, it's well within specification. We move it down to like minus 110, 115 dB. And we can still hear it. So this thing's got good ears. No problem at all. Oh so yeah, happy with that. Yep, fantastic. So there's our repaired multi-mode 3. I've done some performance mods on it as well. Just to improve the SSB. And yeah, another radio lives to see another day and not getting rotted away. Anyway, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon. Buy me a coffee, have a look at my website. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.